Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manton IV, your success strategist and God's prophet to the nations. I've been speaking about radical leadership, and I have an even better title for the book that I'm going to release on this, and you'll know when the book comes out. I've been volume three right now, and I've been in the spirit. I've, I've, I'm hearing three sh sharp things. Number one, you have to develop your trust in God. You have to develop your trust, your trust factor. You really have to do that. Welcome you, you that are coming on. Please do share this and uh, enjoy first and share. Praise the Lord. Let someone else enjoy hearing the word of the Lord. Your, your trust has to be uh, a paramount. These words, I'm, I'm flooding through my mind. So many different words to describe this. Activation, acceleration, implementation, and operation. Yeah. They need to be operating. You need to be operating in... There's so many words I want to say. I can almost say it in tongues, but... <laughs> so the Lord is... Uh, the Lord is really, 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 really... Uh, is, is, is wanting us to trust Him. Listen, you have to trust Him. You, you have to trust His... His hand uh, being in motion. You cannot. Uh, you cannot uh, let your your anxiety or your how could I say your uh, your need you know dictate to you. You must allow God the time and the space he needs to deal with people. And, you know, he's not, I wanted to say this, too, he's not your problem. Uh, devils and, and, and crazy people with all their issues and agenda, agendas are. God is not the uh, problem maker. He wants you to have all that you want to have, like yesterday, today, or tomorrow, whichever comes first, which of course is yesterday, and that's my answer when someone says, when do you want it? I said, well, now is good, or how about yesterday, today, or tomorrow? If it absolutely can't be done today, then how about tomorrow, uh, at the latest, please? <laughs> Another thing that's happening is there's an upgrade about to happen for people. There's a shift coming. There's a very big shift coming for people. And some of it's going to involve geographical changes. Some of it's going to involve uh, definitely uh, atmosphere and environment changes. Okay? And... Uh, what God has promised you, as I was saying yesterday, I'm developing this, this, this message, you know, stage by stage here. What I was saying yesterday was about, we have to believe that God is building, helping us build things for His glory. And a third thing I want to talk about, trust is one, the upgrade and the shift is coming. Well, that's two and three. Number four, I want to say... The, well, the shift first, shift and the upgrade, okay? And, and number four, I want to say, uh, what you've been believing for is really going to manifest. Number five, your productivity is going to increase like thousands of times when you get into the right positioning and the right place and the right situations. You're, you're going to see the, the magnitude of the Lord our Father God and the Holy Ghost bringing you into realms of speed and precision and acquisition and ability, agility, precision, preciseness, excellence. You're going to be moving like that. But why? Because it's inside of you already. Uh, you know, God doesn't put his anointing upon somebody for, for just like, you know, uh, for us to have an experience or a feeling. 
or or for us to like have church or what, however you'd say, he he wants us to understand that he's he's doing huge. He, he wants to do huge things through us. And I tell you, the way I'm feeling is so strong, I can't even communicate it as well as as, as strongly as I'm feeling it. Number six is the number of man. I want to say your success is important and it's mandatory. Number seven, strategy. The strategy is for things to be done the way he wants things to be done is crucial. And that's the way things are gonna be done and get done. Father, I thank you for these seven things coming into manifestation. I want to say this too prophetically and I want to say thus saith the Lord God is going to begin to bring upgrade now for you my precious chosen one into manifestation within the next few weeks the next several weeks. It's not going to be a long off thing. It's going to be a quick, quick, quick right now right now right now moving now thing and some of the obstacles and delays you've had and been feeling and seeing is not because god was having any particular calendar day or month on on it like some people like to say which to me i got to tell you is total foolishness because the bible let me give you a bible for the for me saying that isaiah 60 22 says a little one will become like a thousand yes yes a small one, little one, like a strong nation. Yes. Yes. And he said, I, the Lord, will hasten it in its time. Not my time that I had a time for it or your time because you wanted it. But when things are ready and the ready, set, go time. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Boop light green goes green you know like on the racetrack when they have the light starts at the top and it goes and they've got the engines going that 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 green boom full speed ahead it that happens when everything's ready the engine's ready the track is set the people are ready the lights are on the the event is on you know what i mean and it takes a lot for that to get to that place it's a very good analogy to me to say it that way it takes a lot of preparation and a lot of components and factors for things to get there. But I want to tell you, whatever the devil, that stupid, filthy devil has been doing to stop your progress, it must end now in Jesus' name. It must stop now in Jesus' name. There can be no more delays or denials or derailments or distractions or delays or divisions or diversions or, or delays or excuses from people, you know? Situations where people are saying, well this and that and that and that, or people that are playing tricks. I pray that God will absolutely break the heads. Maybe not to kill them because they, they, they're still players in the game and they need to work for us. You know, God could even make a heathen work for you. God could even make a person who's not right spiritually. God can make a person who has no good intention. He can make them work for your benefit. So not every enemy needs to go off. Not every, you know, tr tricky person, I can say it like that needs to go off the table. If they're doing things for your benefit, then God still has a usefulness for them, even though they're not okay, really. But let them keep working. I pray that, Lord, Lord God, you're stronger. Lord, you are stronger. This is where number one was the trust factor. We really need to trust God. That what he said he means, I was talking about that yesterday, trust in the word that he gave us, in what he told us he was going to do, and what he set us out uh, uh, to embark upon, endeavors that he put into our hands, opportunities that he put into our hands for things to happen, and those things are happening. And, uh, you know, it, it's not like a myth or a fairy tale. These things are really going to happen. They're really happening. I mean, that kind of level of wealth, that kind of level of breakthrough. That kind of level of success, that kind of level of money, that kind of level of, of income.
is, is really coming forth now. Are you ready to receive that? I am. I've already received it, according to Mark 11, 24. Mark 11, 23 says, uh, Speak to the thing that you're believing for, and you can have it. It'll move into place for you. But Mark 11, 24 says, what the things that you're praying for, desiring them, believe you receive them. We've believed, we've received, we've prayed, we've asked, we've heard God speak about things, we've agreed with Him, we've prayed to in faith, we've used the gift of faith, we've stepped into uh, motion on these things, and now they're actually happening. And this is the way that God begins to cause things to go into motion, my friend. You cannot doubt God and then say you're believing Him. So make up your mind. And I, I was feeling to say this in the realm of like, because I, I'm in the topic of talking about Radical leadership, yeah? So, I want to say that I'm, I'm a radical leader. I am. Because, because God's anointed me and ordained me to, 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 to be that. And I'm doing it for me and I'm doing it for you. And I'm doing it, we're doing it for Him, you understand? And things are happening for me and things are happening for you. So let's get that, let's get that very strong into our spirits and get it through our... Our, our, head, our thick heads, you know. We need to trust God and believe God. And what he said he's doing, he's doing. Oh, I'm excited about it. Are you? And what he promised, he's now bringing forth. And what he's ordained is really, truly happening in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you for these many things that you're doing. And the ability to advance the kingdom in the way that it's coming into our hands of possession now is beyond, beyond. Because you've trained us, even in other realms, you know, David became the king, but uh, he became the warrior who killed Goliath, but he already had the battle with the lion and the bear, and he learned what to do in the battle situation with them, and then God took him to the bigger arena, and then when he got to the bigger arena, he was more skilled in that, and some things he said and some things he didn't have to say. He didn't have to talk so much, maybe. And then he became the king after being anointed. It was many years after he was anointed that he actually became the king. He was really ready for the, for, more ready for the thing then, although he was quite a wild man, but, a, but yet a man after God's own heart. So there are some things that we won't even have to discuss or say or testify all about will just live in them and have them and enjoy them and use them for the glory of God. Isn't that great? Paul said, when I was a child, I think it's 1 Corinthians 13, yeah? Toward the end. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. I started, to, I grew up in the stature. I was able to walk and carry this thing in maturity, in levels of grace and honor and, and trustworthiness, integrity, and just the ability to be prudent in all, and wise in all things. And that doesn't come overnight. You know, we, we say this like when we get to a certain age point, we say, I wish that we could have been able to know what we know now and have the stature that we have now, but in a younger body back then. But it didn't happen that way. And it doesn't, it doesn't really happen like that. Somebody said it takes about 15 years to become an overnight success. You ever heard that one? Oh, uh, anyway, I declare these these truths over you, and uh, uh, again, as you're sowing into the ministry and becoming a partner with me, I want to send you this great book that I did, a 40 Keys of Excellence, Diamond Keys for Your Success, 
and also this on the power to create wealth. I was just in a great conference and I was just on the phone with uh, three different individuals who are all international. I'm just flowing internationally all the time. International, yet uh, one, is, one is in the U.S. now, one is in two are in the U.S. now, one was, is in South America and then others in Africa and other parts of the world. And we have so much going on and there's such an awesome release of glory that of what's about to happen in this next moment, in this next hour, in this next season. It, it is just beyond, beyond. I can't talk all about it, but I will share some things as we're going. So stay tuned for that. Uh, again, the website is thomasmanton.com. You can connect with much that I want to say that I haven't been able to say, but I'm getting these points out as, as the Lord is giving me the grace to, to share. And uh, again, this will become a great book about radical leadership. I have a great title. I'm not releasing the title right now, but I will tell you later. And uh, continue, continue on with me in this, and I will, I will talk to you again on the next segment. The, the, the greatest day of your life is about to commence. As we've entered this new month today, it's the first day of the new month, of the eighth month, the new beginning season. It's really here. It's really going to happen. You're going to see God's favor and God's hand like you've never seen. And what he's promised, he's going to make sure it gets fulfilled. And I say again that no man and no devil can stop the blessing of God. He's releasing myriads of angels, as many as are needed to work on the scene, for the things that he's promised us to come into our hands now in Jesus' name. To set up camps to set up the ad admins and the enterprises and the churches and the ministries and the businesses for all of us uh, of this tribe and order of heaven on the earth all over the world and nothing can stop it because we have prophesied and you that are connected with me get ready for the upgrade there's an anointing upon my life in fact uh, a dear prophetic friend was just on the phone he's a very famous musician uh, travels all over the world. He's ministered to presidents and kings and great people in the kingdom of God, very famous, all the famous greats of the ministry, the names that you'd know. He's been playing his instruments on, on all their platforms for years and years, great servant of God, and he's a prophet. He's a prophet in his own right. And he was saying some things to me, and he was talking about the glory of like financial breakthrough that God's using me to, to bring forth in people's lives. And I said, you know, that's, amazing. that's true, you know. It's happening. So uh, I, I've seen the upgrades that have happened for people, anyone that's connected with me in a good way. And don't be connected toward me in a bad way because the judgment of God is real. It's real. It is real. And we're trusting God for some people to go off the scene, some evil people. They need to go. They're going. I prophesy. Again, they're going. Get ready to see them depart this life. But the Lord is uh, blessing people that are connected with us. Oh, my God. Money begins to flow. Upgrade in the spirit. New anointing. New visitation of the Holy Ghost. New direction from heaven, the light shining from heaven upon people that connect with us to upgrade their life and take them out of a dark spell or season that they've been in and just or begin to take them from a, an obscure upbringing and bring them into great prominence. I have seen this all over the world. So the need for radical leadership is here. I am one. I want you to be one. I want you to be raised up to be effective in that which the Lord has assigned you to be working in and doing in Jesus name. And that is my prayer. I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Love you much in Jesus name. Write me waiting to hear from you. God bless you my friend. God bless you very richly in Jesus name. Amen.